What sets truly remarkable individuals apart from the remainder? How do people become successful, confident, and able to handle problems with poise and determination? Mindset is very important for success and reaching our biggest goals in a world full of distractions and problems. Consider for a moment that you could change your world, make your dreams come true, and inspire others with your powerful presence. To do all of this and more, we must unlock the power of our supreme personality. Simply put, what does it mean to have a supreme personality? It goes deeper than just being surface level. If you want to draw chances, you need to send out a positive energy, communicate clearly and with understanding, and face obstacles with unwavering confidence. It's the skill of changing our surroundings and leaving a mark that lasts. As we go on a trip to find personal satisfaction, we will uncover the deepest secrets of those who have reached seemingly unreachable heights. We'll explore the methods and tools that can help you change your life and become the best version of yourself. Everyone has endless potential that they are holding themselves back from reaching. You're about to find a road that will take you beyond your current limits and to new levels of success and happiness. How to become a supreme personality. Delma Eugene Croft's introduction, life is self-realization. Everyone is born with spiritual qualities and every morning we are born again. Wishing you to catch the sparkle, let go of your limits and step into the endless opportunities that lie ahead of you. The world has no one else like you because you have such unique and valuable skills. When your talent comes out into the light, it will brighten up a thousand lives with its clever ideas. If you acted on your understanding, it would make the desert bloom like a rose. Your initiative, when used wisely, could build a kingdom more fair than any made of marble. Your deepest octaves hold harmony that, if woken up and turned into music, would calm, soothe, and cleanse the world's emotions. You have unmatched beauty in the forms of grace that, if breathed into marble or painted with soulful colors, would enhance the regal abodes of kings. You have thoughts that, if they were spoken, would burn and shine through all time and bring words of hope and power to great numbers of people who are falling asleep. I made this set of lessons so that you can come into self-realization. Spending five minutes a day on them will show you how much fun there is in life, power and service in a year. Supreme power over circumstances is the first lesson. Thinking creates conditions. Think differently and your situation will change. In a bad situation, struggling and agonizing is like wrestling in quicksand. You sink deeper. Inform someone else about your bad situations and they will happen more often. Get a big Turkish towel and walk quickly to the bathroom, which is the body's most sacred place if the sky is falling and the ground is shifting under your feet. Enhance your self-esteem by taking a full salt water bath with a few drops of cologne. After this, sleep for 10 to 15 hours in a dark, quiet room. Then get up and eat some healthy food slowly, quietly and with gladness. God could not do anything for Elijah until he gave him a long sleep and good food. After that, Elijah went out and made a king, a prophet, a kingdom and chariots of fire to ride home the next day. After you start, you can control everything. Drop the past and stop naively believing that circumstances hold you back. It's you who is holding on to circumstances. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, to others and say you're a victim of your situation. Simply stop whining and start singing. Your feet will be freed from the chains and the iron gates will open in front of you. Please take your eyes off of yourself. Your will is asleep at the wheel. Wake it up. Verify if you are floating or sailing. You should change your mental direction to include new ideas, goals and pure wants. Your Aryan journey of Lita service should be filled with boundless hope. For you are not a pebble in the life stream. The universe of facts is under your control like a master. 
Are you sure you're not floating in the harbour's mud? But it's just the tide is out. Command your will to raise the sails. Heavenly Father will send wind and tide to clean up your mind and body so that you can live a better life. He will broaden your view of the world and enlarge your pool of experiences. Simply leave someone on the shore if they don't want to sail with you. Let go of the things that are holding you back and break free from your mistakes. Explore new situations, create new settings, and begin a new supreme life. Being a good animal means keeping your body supreme. Go back to nature. Let the sun shine in through the quiet woods and open fields. Wearing no shoes and walking in the dew, sleeping on the grass, or lying half buried in the sand can attract people to you. Wild animals don't get tuberculosis, arthritis, or sleeplessness. Our bodies are sick and weak because we have removed our natural defenses. Befriend animals in the wild. They will teach you how to stay healthy. Not a single person in their huge forest home has worried prostration. For better control of your confusion, learn to relax and lower your stress. Somewhere in the sun or under an old apple tree during the day, take a moment to relax your muscles, calm your senses and clear your mind. When you eat, eat slowly and simply. Fruits, nuts, dates, grains and water are all good choices. Look better by wearing less dark clothes and studying how you look. Maintain balance and take care of your body. Going for a bath and getting a haircut will make you look different. Get rid of habits that make your body weaker. Don't talk about or listen to other people's weaknesses, illnesses or body conditions. Negatively about your body will make it fail you, but positively about it will make it work for you. Take an air bath, a bath with cold water or a sponge with cold water every morning. You will draw a healthy, active body if you think about it. Be active by walking, running, playing or working out and learn to rest. Change the way you live, stop being negative and grumpy and stop whining. You're angry because your pores are clogged. Try sweating. Unfortunately, you're very blue because your solar plexus is asleep. Give it 30 minutes of inner energy. Don't make fun of the weather. Instead, enjoy it and get into it. Let it boost your iron levels. Soak up the storm. It will heal your spirit. And a swim in the ocean will make your body more magnetic. While being overworked, ignored, abused, weakened, overfed, underfed, badly talked about and overworked, your body keeps making life the most holy thing in the world. Changing evil things into divine energy, cleaning a river of blood of tons of poison, supporting a brain that creates and rules over endless empires, providing a vision that turns darkness into light and the unknown into, and being the temple of the living God itself. Because your body is so important, lay in the sun and hold the divine bear. Let it get deep into your tissues. It will attract minerals and fill your body with youth. Relax on a couch in front of a big window, or better yet, outside every warm day, and take these sun baths. Daily sun and air baths will make your body magnetic, flexible, springy, and young-looking. Remember that your mind is unlimited. Trust your own judgment. You were made to lead, not be led. Create your own ideas and train your mind to think on its own. The mind that has stopped working is rusty with misery. Train your mind to make other people happy. Don't follow the crowd. Walk softly among human hearts. Develop the ability to think broadly. Make your mind as big as the world. Focus on new ideas and goals instead of thinking about small things and pointless people. You should stop being sad about the flowers on the north side of your house that will never bloom and start a new yard on the south side. That's okay if you're easily misunderstood. So were Zabon, Arola, Columbus, Galileo, Luther, Whitfield, Emerson, Lincoln, Christian and others. Seven towns fought for Homer, and over their dead streets, the live Homer begged for food. 
Christ's image was the exact opposite of who he was. Thoughts of bravery were held on the horizon where truth tells you to stand. You are better or just as good as you think. You are all that you think. Create, invent and make new ideas. Don't build mud huts on your thoughts. Caution. Routine is bad for the brain. Free your thoughts from ideas, biases and restrictions. Positive thinking means appreciating yourself, your possessions and the things you do. It means staying focused and determined and it means coming to a decision. Your mental, physical and financial states are all made up of your thoughts. By thinking different things, you will experience different things. The things you want assemble in your mind. When you stop thinking about them, they disappear. Mental images are like seeds. They grow more of the same kind. Some thought will clear up the useless situations and confusing surroundings. Make your daily activities more fun. Seriousness spreads germs of disease, just like anger and hateful thoughts spread cancer, tumors and liver problems. Release a hurricane of joy and a storm of joy and they will clear the air over the roof. In contrast, there is a time to cry. Don't drown your feelings. Doing so will destroy your heart. Instead, let your tears water the soil of your heart. Mentally refresh yourself every morning. That's life, because every day is a new start, a new life, a new world. Although you thought your thoughts made enemies, they actually made friends. Additionally, you thought your thoughts made fears, but they actually made trust. Your conditions were brought about by your thoughts and they will be lifted by them. Whatever you think about supreme unity, control and love, your soul, mind and body can't turn ugly, useless or locked up. Although your body is a home and your mind is a crazy asylum, your body is a temple and your mind is a safe place where angels can talk to you. Condition, environment and events are not in charge of you. They are just tools that your mind can use to create beautiful character sculptures. By lighting a new thought lamp and carefully searching every part of your mind, you will find the rare prize that no one else has. Happiness. Stop being so serious and have fun thinking. In your daily thoughts, bring up the red blood of joy. Maintain the supremacy of your will. Since your will is holy energy, it is the highest power. It is inaction that lets fate happen. Fear and doubt are made up by the mind. The power of the will melts them into mist. Have willpower in your life, in your work, in your goals, in your speech and in your actions, and you will be a great maker who works with God and doesn't have to be ashamed. Your will leads to an endless number of truths, goals, ambitions and levels of understanding. You are told by your will to believe anything today that seems too good to be true. Push for it and be open to receiving it, and tomorrow it will come true. Will is the ship's engine underneath the water that moves it through the waves and storm to the faraway port. Will moves the bone of your desire to where it should be. Will gives you iron in your blood, tenses up your back and turns you into an entrepreneur. You may have lost a battle, but your will is ready for a new and better one. If you miss one chance, your will is ready to jump at 100 others. Delaying is the mother of most failures. The only person worse than a quitter is one who is afraid to start. Focus on your will. It gives you a reason to do something and makes you stick to it. Get ready for a new fight. Will makes desire, will makes brains will makes decisions. Cut deep into the world of options, out of your jail of problems, and through the jungle of things that are blocking your way to freedom, health, success, and ultimate power. Think, plan, and act. Wishing well gets rid of sickness, cleanses the body of toxins, boosts the immune system, opens the mind to new ideas, erases bad luck, and rebuilds a better success. Julian Caesar trained his supreme will until it controlled the Roman Empire. Diana, the goddess of love, said of Hercules, When I saw him, 
Whether he was sitting or standing, I knew he was a god. As majestic is his will as the magnetic mountain. From the thousand and one nights it says, Your will can tear the nails from your enemy's ships so that they fall apart before they reach your shores. As you read this, the oracles of prophecy are sleeping in your will and you were given control of this world. Sovereignty, dominion and kingship are enthroned in your will. The poet Pygmalion cut his idea of the soul into marble until its beauty and grace became so real that it came to life and moved. Dante created his Inferno and Milton created Paradise Restored by using force of will. Know that you are in charge by putting your will in charge and starting over. Mentally picture what you want, who you want to be and what you want to do. Then make it happen get past your worries, and don't wait to be healthy, happy, or wealthy. These things will come to you. Do not stay stuck in your questions, fears, or worries. Instead, start where you are and let your will create as God makes. As the saying goes, he who believes will not perish, but will have the light of life and eternal life. If someone believes, nothing is impossible for them. Lessen your limp hero worship in the hall and step into the battle to be the hero. Don't waste your time with frivolous movie hero desire. On the stage of life, get yourself a bunch of flowers. Everyone is looking forward to your big moment in life. Miracles are great feats, amazing events, magical happenings, or results that happen when normal natural processes are stopped. Today is a good day to do it. Amazingly, not many people do it. No, A Doll's House by Ibsen. As the wife made a fake note, she saved up money to pay for her husband's medical care. Having recovered it, he became famous and wealthy again as a banker. Then the person started to blackmail by saying they would tell everyone about the crime. To what extent did the husband attack his wife, mad that she had done something that would ruin his high position? How did the wife react? For I hoped for the miracle that you would save me as I saved you, that you would say you had done it. If you had done it, what a wonderful supernatural thing would it have been. Christ made a withered hand whole and useful. People say, oh, if I could only do such a wonderful thing. Well, why don't you? Look at the withered hands around you, a young lady with a beautiful voice, but no means to cultivate it. You have a thousand in the bank. You can save that voice for a world that quotes songs. A young man with a fine mind, without means to go to college. You have means to give that mind to a world with power and utility. The natural is that you don't, the supernatural. The miracle is that you are divine enough to do it. A man, a woman, is left friendless, cruelly judged by the world, their goodness ruined, their spirit crushed their hearts bleeding, their lives made useless, withered. The natural thing to do is to avoid them, to stand aside, to be contemptuously indifferent. The miracle would occur if you approached them, lifted them up, brought them back into society. I said, avoid useless people. I mean selfish, lazy, purposeless, aimless, aimless. In the chapel, Angelo's miracle happened when the band on the Titanic played Nearer My God to Thee to give hope and strength to the men and women trying to save themselves. As the band's voice was forever silenced behind the shining emerald gates in the glass tomb of the sea, each performer descended crowned with the glory of a selfless miracle. It would have been natural for you to be that desperate to save yourself, what magnificent chances to work miracles have passed before you. What magnificent possibilities are still before you. The cripple is always at your beautiful door. You are divine, wonderful, and supernatural enough to say, All that I have, I give to you. Do this soon, and you will know every day the joy of hearing the Father say, This is my Son, in whom I am well pleased. I take off my hat and wait for the person in front of me to pass safely if it's a school teacher. The most obscure teacher out there in the hills of the countryside, unknown, unthought of, 
and unpraised, but with loving patience, teaching boys and girls with frowning faces the secrets of knowledge. She can look into her mirror at sunset and see the face of an angel. Flowers throw their wealth into the empty air, and rich people often throw their wealth into the empty air. When you call someone darling, they might break out in hives the next morning. Don't divorce your husband because he has cold feet. He might have had them since you got married. Christ stopped all the funerals that came his way and sent the mourners home singing. He found funeral sermons too sad to preach. Every room he entered turned into a spa and cemeteries became unpopular. Many a lonely bachelor thinks back on the beautiful moonlit nights when the cool summer air was scented with old-fashioned flowers and they looked into the loving eyes of their beloved. They remember how the crimson glow of youth lit up their velvet cheeks as they took her warm hand in theirs. They remember how sadly that if they had only played that hand fair in the game of life, they would have had a full house. You can be young again by thinking about things that make you feel young. For example, Vanderbilt added a hundred million dollars to his wealth after he turned 80. Wordsworth won the Nobel Prize at 73. He set up the French Republic and became its first president at 72. Birdie wrote Falstaff at 80. Sir Walter Scott was 55 years old and owed $600,000. But he worked hard and made a name for himself. A wealthy and loving father homeschooled his son because he was afraid that college would poison him. When the son was 21, the father took him for a walk in the city and they came across a female seminary just as the doors were opening and a group of young women were coming out. The boy grabbed his father's arm and yelled, What are those? They're just goslings, his father answered. Later, the loving father told his son, My son, you have obeyed me and faithfully finished your education. Now I'm willing to spend $50,000 to give you the biggest dream of your life, the boy said with a laughing grin. Lesson 2. Age is the most powerful thing. Nature never gets old and youth never ends. Today, the flowers that grew in Eden are still as pretty, sweet, fresh, and unchanged as they were then. That rose smell that your partner brings you home smells just like the rose that Adam brought to Eve. It's interesting to think about how the stars that shine in the sky tonight are the same stars that shone in tremulous glory on the peasants outside of Bethlehem. It was 1,000 years ago that the sun's bright, life-giving rays warmed Mother Earth in the spring. The same rays will bring back the spring tide. Life doesn't get old, it just changes shape. Since your life will never end, your youth may also never end. People are always young because their parts fall off. You have more life, so you should be younger at 60 than you were at 16. People move up the hill of life over the years until they reach a point where they start to think they must be getting old. They think it's time to decline. They think it's time to fall off. They think it's time to start the process of declining. Then they start to talk about it, write letters about it, feel their way around and look for it in other people. Finally, the habit they inherited from their ancestors kicks in and they are old. The way you think about it can turn the life that's inside you into the white ashes of old age. If you think about being young, you will stay young. To stay young, keep growing. Having a new idea will make you feel younger. Grow it, and it will grow you. Start right now to get more new thoughts in your head faster. Do not say that you are too old to change. You can see trees that are 100 or 200 years old every day. In China, there is a rose bush on a wall that is thought to be over 1,000 years old. It gives more roses now than when it was only 100,000 years old. Gladstone was chosen Prime Minister of England for the fourth time when he was 82 years old. He was becoming a more mature politician. When Cato was 80 years old, he started to study Greek, which made his mind feel fresh again. At age 103, Donald Davis is becoming a better shooter. At age 111, Goddard Diamond was becoming a master of health. 
I know a happy, bright woman who just started a new business decorating China on top of taking care of her home. She is 88 years old. Another woman, this one 81 years old, has started a new way to make watercolor drawings bigger. When the master of life saw that the fig tree didn't grow, blossom, or produce any fruit, it died. The same law says that when you stop growing, it will die. If you grow something, make something, or produce something, the law of youth will fill you up. The laws of health, thought, growth, unity, output, speech, beauty, and selflessness should be followed by young people. Keep your body's forces up, fix any damaged cells, and keep the system free of trash. Don't hurt your body with hate, anger, jealousy, or fear. Keep your mind sweet, think happy thoughts, and stay away from mental turmoil. Being selfish is the third biggest enemy of young people after worry and fear. Believe every morning when you wake up that this new day is a fresh start, a gift from God, yours to use, and one that I will make even better. Every day should grow, and every day should grow. Stop fighting and pointless fights because they make people weaker. Stop arguments, complaints, and judgment in your life. You are more powerful than these things, so find peace. You are of the world, over worlds, and from one universe to the next. Train your words to be beautiful, your walk to be graceful, your personality to be magnetic, your smile to give comfort and courage, and your presence to heal, help, and inspire. Think about what good thing is in everything that is beautiful. Being young is a wonderful job. May you love what you do and do things that make you and other people happy. Enjoy your daily work and change it until you're happy with it. Learn to love your job because it will make you happy. Do your work with joy in the morning and you'll see how it turns into happiness in the evening. The rule of youth says that work is important, idleness is bad, and inertia is death. No matter how beautiful something is, the law of labor will not stand for abuse of any kind. Make an image of your work in your thoughts. It should be easy, well-organized, and beautiful. Do things every day that test your self-control, self-possession, and self-mastery. Work quickly and with a strong will to finish your job. Bring out your supreme personality at work. Adding the absolute I am to your job, reason will help it stick. Use the strong choice I have decided in your work. If you are so sad that you can't find anything to laugh about, then laugh at nothing. You'll feel better and remember that one smile can give you more real life than seven tons of sadness. Happiness and wealth go hand in hand. So soak up the happiness and enjoy the sun every day, even if you live in Pittsburgh and have to make your own. Enjoy yourself. Don't believe it. Laughing can always heal and kill. Learn to laugh so hard that it spreads. Being happy makes work easier. Reading funny things will teach you how to tell them. Practice telling good stories that are funny. Be clever. Everything has a good side. Even a dark lantern, the movie will end happily, and being funny will bring you luck. If you don't have a smile, borrow one and wear it like it's your own. Let it make your heart happy and give it as a gift. Put a smile on your face before bed, and when you wake up, you'll feel happy. Let your humor be deep. Man, laughter is one of the most beautiful sounds in the world. Every day that you don't laugh is a day that you've lost. Laughter cleans the mind. If you don't laugh, you're not healthy. A happy heart is like medicine. Don't spend time with sad people if you want to forget your worries. Instead, focus on being happy. Also, remember that thinking about your sorrows will only make them bigger. If you are going through loss, find someone who is also going through it and support them. The time to lose a loved one, even if they are not on earth, is now more than ever. Love and life never change, and death is just a thought. Our friends go on to live again in a new body that is full of life and spirit. 
When you believe that you were made in His image and are part of the divine nature, it is easy to think that one day you will rise to be like Him. People will think that we don't have ugly, socially flawed natures, but divine natures that are all-powerful. People have been deformed, broken, and morally sinful for generations because of their traditions, lessons, schooling, and the surroundings they have grown up in. All of these things were caused by thought. Thought made the limitations and the original sins, and the system encouraged and taught errors. But you must know that the universe is one soul, that you are joined with God, that you are a part of a whole life, that you are a part of the infinite brain, and that you are the supreme personality of the absolute personality. Things that have life are not against God. In a world where love is just a dream, marriage is an alarm clock. You can start making plans right away to live alone when your kids get married if you don't like your mother-in-law. It's like a dogfight in a flower bed. Nothing gets fixed but the flowers. You can overload your pulit idea every time you hear the lusty wail of a boy with plus energy filling the air. You can look out the window and see a woman's hand on the seat of her problem. In Vermont, a woman lost all value when she mopped a hole in her kitchen floor and fell into the basement. The fruits of the soul grow, such as love, joy, peace, humility, kindness, goodness, and faith. Be humble and moderate. There is no law against them. You can't just sit there and wish for them or wait for someone to bring them to you. Not even God will do that. Help them grow. If you fill your heart with them, no power on earth can beat you, make you fail, or overthrow you. Get them and use them while you work. Bring them with you to the store, the plant, the workshop, the mill, and the bank. Do not leave them at home. Bring them to the office, the counting room, the courtroom, and your throne room. You should bring them with you to the war, the courtroom, the Senate, and the White House. Take them with you everywhere you go, on the roads, in the cities, and in the country. Bring them with you to the rivers and the sea when it storms. Put them on the helm of your ship and sail through the night without any stars. Trust them, because they come from the highest part of you. Work on your voice. Your voice should be left to the wild animals in the bush to growl, screech, and whine. Take your sobbing, crying, shaking, hurt, priggish voice to a sad swamp and bury it there. Like setting a guitar, your voice shows what kind of person you are. It should stay level and sound like someone in charge. Attract me. Have speech tones that are round, regular, and well-measured. Keep your voice quiet and peaceful. Be careful what you say, and let your words show who you are. Let your voice be soft, calm, and peaceful, but charged with good energy. Have a voice that makes you feel good like sunshine and smiles. To love your family, you need to know how to love them. Get as far away from home as you can, so they will love you. Put about 500 kilometer, or thousands of homes, between you and them. When two family members try to live together, their lives are thrown off course. After 10 days of the flood, Noah and the ark would have sunk if he had brought more than two of the same family. Adam made a stupid mistake when he tried to keep his two kids with him forever. If not, Cain would not have killed Abel. It was possible that they had a good reason. New York and Paris were not very attractive at the time. Outside of church, when a young couple moves in with their parents, is the funniest thing that can happen. In real life, there is just as much happiness and peace as at a lunch with monkeys and birds in the bush. You can only live with your whole family in peace in one place, the graveyard. Living together as an adult family goes against natural law. When one is too young or too big to hunt and comes back after going out once, his mother beats him so badly that he would rather die of hunger than go back. She loves him. You can be sure she loves him deeply. She wants him to be a brave boss so much that it makes her proud bold and able to survive on their own in the wild. When a lion cub is old enough to hunt on their own, 
the mother takes them into the bush and sneaks out to watch them. The cubs can go back to their old den, but their parents have moved to a different den to develop their nature and become the most powerful animals in the jungle. They have to rely on their own strength, like when the mother eagle automatically knows that her young's wings are strong enough to hold them up. With her body, she forces them out of the room. They need to fly, or they will die when they hit the rocks. They fly all the time. You say that people are not like bears, lions or birds, though. Well, people could certainly afford to go to the school of wild animals in the woods to learn about health, happiness and personal growth. Take care of your family and then leave them alone. Try to stay out of their business and them out of yours. Keep yourself safe and kind, but don't get too close to the danger zone. Make up your mind to live alone. It's up to you to live your own life and think your own thoughts. They want to hold their kids, but the only way to do that is to let go of them. You will let them go if you love them. Love doesn't care about itself. His only son went on the most lonely trip ever, and when he came back, he was crowned with praise. God can live with many people while you and I can't. Something had to be done by Abraham. God told him to go out, and he did. He didn't know where he stayed, but he led a group of people as many and bright as the stars in the sky. However, Isaac stayed at home and lived off of how great his father was. The only useful thing he did was finish some wells that his father had started. When he saw his beloved Rebecca for the first time, someone else had to get her for him. He screamed and cried like a fool. He was too nice about his dad's lamb and grape juice. The soft popcorn flutters around the home court, but the eagle swoops from dawn until dusk. Any way you look at it, these days boys mostly teach their dads. There is a place where we can laugh at each other's necks and put down our hammers. As the saying goes, sell your hammer and buy a horn. A lot of people own more than an acre of land that could be used for anything and only use about half an acre for farming. Starting a plan to grow mosquitoes as a money-making item would be the best way to get rid of them for good. Stop mocking, teasing, hinting, suggesting and accusing people whose love you want to keep. When you make fun of love, you kill it. Personality is made of bad anger. Without it, no one can rise in the world. There is no market for a razor, a knife, an axe, or a writer, actor, or preacher who doesn't have it. Never lose your cool. Lose everything else, but don't lose your cool. People who are very picky about how things are done or how they act make me think of my old friend Saxby, who fell into Bill Smith's trap. When I stood on my head in that well, he said, I prayed the most. What's the meanest thing about the bad kid on your block? It's because you don't like him and he knows it. There was never a bad kid made by God. But parents, towns and cities have all made some. Lesson 4. Selling power is the most important rule of success. Look over your plans and go into a meeting with a clear idea of what you want to say. This is an example of simple power getting people's attention, keeping their interest, convincing them, and forcing them to make a choice. Then your order book will be full in any business. Selling is powerful when you have faith and a strong will. To be successful, you need to want to grow and be determined. Do you want to be successful? How much? When do you want it? Like a person who is hungry wants food. You will do well. Do you really want to reach your goal? How much? That moment when your goal turns into a burning desire. Like the lost tourist who was thirsty in the hot desert sands. Then you will be successful. Opportunity is not what you want. The world is full of rare chances. If that's not what you want, then chances are shining brighter in your future than the many, many stars that fill the night sky with their beauty. What you need is determination, self-assurance, drive, and desire. Power over yourself, drawing power. Make your goal clear and bright, and try to fill it with good things. Don't make your plan longer, 
Instead, make it more important. Make as many changes as you need to, and then add it. Make sure that nothing about you can stop or cancel out the draw. Become deeply interested in your setting. Try to be happy and expect to succeed. Show everyone that you're sure you're right. Don't bother asking people if they think you can do it. They don't, since they haven't done it. Keep your mind calm and quiet. Do something about your wish. Do what you want to do. Confidence attracts confidence and positivity attracts positivity. You only need to wake up your dormant forces to use them. Believe in the world, in life, in growth, in possibilities, and have faith in yourself and others. Think positively, support your hope and confidence, get rid of all questions, and help someone else get out of their own pit of doubt and hopelessness. Have faith that shines as brightly as the sun. Don't give up your confidence, it will pay off in a big way. Dwell in confidence, hold on to your hope, and trust until the end. Be brave and independent in your thoughts, and see money as a way to get what you want. Seek wealth because it gives you the power to help others. Have a kind heart, help other people succeed, and get rid of fear, worry, confusion, and shyness from your mind. If you trust yourself and others, have a supreme, holy, and absolute mental attitude. Spend your last dollar like a king and guard your mind with, I will, I can. All of your problems will melt away in front of you. You can't have both ambition and desire if you don't think they can be fulfilled. Ambition is vision and desire is faith. Since desires come from the most intelligent being in the world and are holy, they are real and can be fulfilled in a good way. Protect them, make them the goals of your life and let your energy shine on them. If you put life into them, success and victory will crown your life. If you want to be successful, you can't be stopped. Stay away from people who are reactive and boring, stupid and idle. Be creative. Think of new ideas and give them shape, invent and make things. Come up with new ideas and feel full in yourself. Don't be amazed by what other people have done. The world will be better because of this secret, which is right at your feet. One person thought that hair from the inside of a cow's ear could be used instead of the artist's camel's hairbrush. If you work in an office, think of an outdoor job. You could grow or raise something be interested in animals, look into the neighborhood market, or make something to sell, even if it's not for money. Work gives you life. You can stay away from bad habits like speculating, gaming, politics and more. If you build something, take care of chickens, sheep, cattle, or other pets, grow flowers, fruits, or fences, or work with nature. This is the very, a state of peace. It will put you in touch with global intelligence, give you the flow of endless life, and help you keep developing your hidden abilities. Take a moment to think about your own abilities, gifts, skills, strengths, and tools. What kind of number do you use? A lot of people don't use more than 20% of their personal power capital. The other 80% just sits there. Why should you only get 20% of life success, peace, and happiness when you should get all of it. Every turn on the road leads to a great prize for your hidden skills. You can read the sign, powerful men are needed. You are an uncharted territory. Go into it and take its wealth for yourself and the world. A plan is a powerful source of power, along with persistence. Don't live a hit or miss life when it comes to your daily tasks. Make a plan. Every morning, Take a few minutes to be quiet and make a plan. You can be twice as successful if you make a plan, break new ground, get a clear vision, keep your plan under your hat and work it. Be persistent in your plan and stick to it. Don't become bitter or negative. Stay sweet. If your plan gets stuck, try something different, start over, get rid of your worries and go in a different way. If it doesn't make you happy, it's not success. Be close to the heart of happiness. It's in the center of everything. 
in continuous power of service, become what you want to be. Pretend to be great, and you will be great, and pretend to be beautiful, and you will become beautiful. How do stars become idols? It would be easy for them to get married every month, and star can't stay single. What's the trick? Is it possible for someone to do it? Of course, here it is. Artists play heroes, monsters, good husbands, lovers, and brave people in a real way. They think about, plan, and train to play the part, and they make it seem so real that people think it must be in their nature. You can do it if you're young, single, or widowed, and only half guy and half lover. Make it look like you're whole. You'll blush if you go for a walk with your best friend through the flower bed in the yard. Tell your loved one that you are a daring and interesting knave, and they will swoon with cute happiness and fall into your arms. Pretend to be a hero until you are one if you are a fool. To tell a pretty, healthy young woman in the 20th century that you love her, don't stand on one foot, bite your nails, or take off the brim of your hat. You are going to be fine. Hire a guy who can swim well to jump into the lake while you and your lady are walking. It will be fun. Stand up straight, take off your coat, and jump into the water. You'll be a hero in his eyes, but the boy will pull you to shore. Act like the hero, and the young girl will love you. If you want to marry a hero, act like you're a pretty girl who is too young for your age. Dear lame widow, if you want to marry the best man in the world, act like you are young and beautiful. If you want to marry a real man, pretend to be young, beautiful, and wealthy. The odds are against you here in the East, where there are thousands and thousands more women than men in every state, but you will win. Men all over the world look up to actresses because they represent love, passion, beauty, virtue, and nobility. Men really believe that actresses must have what they portray. It's all about how you think. A man will bet on the next horse he thinks is good, even if he has lost many times at the races before. Not just sometimes, but all the time, women need to look good, because men like women who are good friends. So, girls, they show empathy, kindness, patience, friendship, and interest in things that men find interesting. If you are a citrus fruit, act like a peach. If you are a nettle plant, act like a violet. You may be so plain that your face hurts, but think of all the beauty products you can buy at the drugstore. If you are a silencer, a young woman in Philadelphia lost her voice and got 19 dates that year. You can be as straight as the streets of Boston and still look like you belong in almost any department store. You can be so fat that you haven't seen your feet in years and still look so nice that men will be drawn to you like flowers are drawn to the sun. Believe in yourself in everything you do even when you're having a quick lunch of sausage by the dog catcher. Thoughts that are too cautious are what make the road to hell, not good goals. Where does your lap go when you stand up? Where does your hate go when you love? You can be thankful that you don't live in Greenland, where nights last six months after pacing the floor all night trying to get the baby to sleep. If you're angry, don't say mean things. You might be saying the truth. A father in Chicago scolded his son for staying out late. When I was your age, my father wouldn't let me go out at night, he said. Then you must have had one hell of a father, the boy replied. Then you had one hell of a father, the old man replied angrily. I had a much better father than you. Stress is like a rocking chair. You can move around in it a lot without getting anywhere. If a squirrel runs at you in the park, don't kick it. He might have thought he saw a nut and thought you were something else. Children shine with truth. They say what they feel without thinking about it. He had done something wrong, so his mother sent him upstairs to talk to God about it. He came down singing after an hour. His mom asked him what God told him. Oh, she said, God told Elsie, Great Scott, don't feel bad. Lesson 5. The best way to build muscle, power, health, unity, and service. That makes for a perfect body. People who take care of their bodies will naturally be healthy. Feelings give the body life and health. 
Modern life is powered by energy. It powers our food, lights, heat and transportation. The body is ignored by our fast-paced lives. You can stretch, strengthen, heal and energize your body by doing the following movements for three minutes in the morning and evening. Do these workouts like you're in a deathmatch field where the winner gets the big prize of life. Living things need air to breathe. When you do any fitness workout, make sure you breathe slowly and fully. Inhale through your nose and quickly let out air through your mouth. Avoid holding your breath. Simply stand up straight, put your hands by your sides and squeeze your arms tightly. Then, as you slowly raise your hands and arms above your head, tighten your muscles and breathe deeply through your belly. Relax and then firmly blow out your mouth. Go over it five times. For the second exercise, lay your left hand flat on your right hand and squeeze it with your left hand. Then, lift your right hand up and focus all of your power on lifting it above your head, just like you did in the first exercise. Breathe out, relax, and then do it again with your right hand pushing against your left, five times through the practice. As the third practice, strongly hold your hands above your head and leave them standing there. Take deep, full belly breaths with each movement as you pull strongly from right to left. Then rest and let go of the tension as you did above. Both this exercise and the last one are great for building up the lungs and expanding the shoulders and chest. Go over it five times. Pull hard from right to left while clasping your hands in front of your chest and breathing deeply and with your whole belly with each movement. Relax and let out your breath as above. As the fifth exercise, join your hands behind your back, take a big breath in and lift your hands as high up as you can on your back. Release your breath and relax. While doing the exercise, you should always breathe in. When you're done with the movement, you should take a full breath and then breathe out. As you do the sixth exercise, lean your body as far to the right as you can while placing your right hand on your right hip and clenching your left fist. Breathe out and relax. Then do it again this time with your left hand on your left hip. Go over it five times. As you do the seventh exercise, clasp your hands together in front of your chest and swing your body as far to the right and left as you can. Along with each action, don't move your feet, but take deep breaths. Go over it five times. The eighth exercise is to raise your hands above your head. Take a big breath in and bend over so that you can touch the floor with your finger without bending your knees. Go over it five times. You may add other routines, but make sure they all include deep breathing. Asthma, catar, airway or lung problems can be avoided. Indigestion can be stopped. Circulation will be improved and blood will be renewed and made. While wearing loose clothes, do all of your activities in a place with good airflow. The best time is when you wake up and when you go to sleep. The fact that they hurt you at first is proof that they are good for you. Your strength will soon make you too strong to feel pain. Do the workouts until your body glows and your muscles are well trained, but don't overdo it. Continue doing these breathing movements as directed. Unfortunately, Marrying a goose doesn't guarantee a bed of swans. For men, asking who gave them a black eye is a bad idea because they probably earned it by fighting hard. A naked statement is not always the naked truth when talking about current clothes. Notoriety is not the same as quality. Roses worth $1,000 won't really fill a room with scent, but fried onions with or without garlic can scent an entire city. Americans lose three million years a year because they are sick and their medical bills add up to $1,220 million. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly, the master of life said. Lesson six, great internal energy. Everything is controlled by good gut. As people become less active, their vibrations are changing, which makes stomach worse. 
Fewer and fewer people are walking, even though it's the best workout ever. As the body's main vibrator, the diaphragm can be activated to get the gastric system moving. The liver and kidneys keep vibrating for 10 minutes or as long as you want. For a few minutes every day, these movements could stop cancer and tumors from growing, and all of these stomach problems would go away. When you breathe out, your diaphragm relaxes and expands, letting your stomach, intestines, and other important systems move freely and work out. Try starting slowly, taking a big breath, and then using the diaphragm muscles to move your belly back and forth. Slowly, and then quickly, vibrate over the bowels. Feeling some pain at first is a sign that the muscles in your intestines are not strong enough. If you move your diaphragm, sounds can reach your gut and solar plexus. Simply push the waves up, just like you did when you pushed them down. Practice the series several times while taking deep breaths. Additionally, you should shake while slightly turning your body to get the stomach to move in a circle. By sending short, sharp shocks to the solar plexus, which is high in the chest, you can cover the heart and lung muscles. As a result of making the heart and lung muscles stronger, this work is very important for preventing all kinds of sudden attacks. Using vibrations to wake up a liver that is sleeping, send the vibrations to the right side and do them hard to wake up the liver fully. It's very important to do this exercise because it directly affects arthritis, makes fluids flow and releases acids. Living in a dry environment and eating a food low in acids can help with rheumatism. See salt baths and staying away from sweets. Get as much exercise as you can and change jobs. Each morning when you wake up, make sure you drink a cup of hot water. Include some salt to help get rid of the bad acids in the stomach. If you're constipated, drink two cups. That's the best energy and advice for this issue. Going to the bathroom regularly every morning and eating vegetables and rye or graham bread are good for you. Eating little meat and eating food until it turns into liquid is important. Maintain bowel vibrations and you won't have to deal with constipation anymore in 20 days. Kopfschmerzen and bile are symptoms of self-imbibing, stress, rushing, eating quickly, overeating, overworking out and nervousness. All of these things slow down or stop the stomach and absorption process. Utilize Epsom salts, castor oil and cascara sagrada. Then adjust your food and take a day off to rest. Get this done right away to stop a lot of disease attacks, obesity, keep up the inner energy and the movements from lesson seven. Eating less is a moral decision. If you're scared, you can't lower. The moral courage to cut back is missing if your hunger, which is false, unhealthy and harmful, controls you and makes you eat 5,000 units of food when 1,000 is plenty. You can drink the hot water like that, or you can add lemon juice to it. Take a cup of hot water with lemon when you start to feel hungry. With just a few drops of lemon juice, you can skip lunch and just have a cup of hot water and a half slice of bread or something similar. Four cups of milk. Don't stop walking, working out your muscles, or stroking and rubbing your face and neck. Foods that are high in fat, sugar, or starch should not be eaten. Slow down by skimming each bite. This will help you relax and introduce you to new flavors that gluttons don't normally enjoy. Abhor being big or ugly and be sad about it, but don't let other people know how you feel. Your personality will be perfect if you don't talk about your flaws. Modify your body. No mental or physical state can't be changed. Even flaws and defects can be fixed. Focus on what you want to become and then work hard to get there. Then set a goal for how much you want to weigh and work hard to reach it with bravery, happiness and joy. Once you've mastered your body, keep going toward your goal. Balance leads to health, and the body is completed when the will acts in balance with the mind. It shows that you are smart if you know how to sin in a cute way. Most family problems start with a gift. 
don't waste your time dragging idiots to knowledge springs. You can't make them think. Many people's lives go like York Street in New Haven. They start at the hospital, see lots of doctors, and end up at the graveyard. Terror, aqua, and air are all three parts of nature. Its elements are electricity, heat, light, air, energy, and aura. Minerals, plants, and animals make up its worlds. Marine, land, and air animals live there. It features angular, circle, and spiral shapes. Humans are your most perfect creation. They are physical, mental, and spiritual. If you can't make your dream come true, make your real image perfect. Nature's safe places include sleep. The only people who should be bothered by an alarm clock are the people who are praying. You should be happy when you meet a crazy person because he might give you an idea that will help you become a business. Not many men are smart enough to fully commit five reels of bad behavior and still get away with it, turning into an angel at the end of the movie. Too much greed causes heart failure, which is mostly severe indigestion. The main thing that probably causes heat stroke is stress and anger from family members. Apoplectic anger is hate that upsets the balance of power in the home. Paresis is extravagant love with a touch of champagne. While appendicitis is a six-cylinder hunger, ambition is a half-horsepower desire. There are a lot of layers of self-love in nervous prostitution. Bronchitis is pride hot in sealskin. Supreme mental health is the topic of lesson seven, the highest intellectual thought. What you've learned so far is the key to complete mental healing. No limits exist in your mind. Wherever you can, start. Conditions don't matter, not how weak, alone, or overwhelmed with troubles you are. It is possible for you to rise, be free, and start over. You may have a huge collection of healing books and articles. Biology and anatomy books are great, but you will never be able to read yourself well. I've tried to give you what you need, which are good strategies for getting things done. A hut takes work, a nice house even more, and a kingdom of endless wealth even more. Can you put in the mental and physical work needed to turn your body into a home of the living God? Get rid of mental clutter by making a simple daily plan. You can relax your mind and body by lowering your stress. Fewer calories, more water, walks outside, and new goals and work should help you feel better. Don't think about the future or the past. Get rid of the useless things that are assembling in your mind. Forget about holding a grudge anywhere in your mind. Deal with strong individuals only. Avoid interacting with weak or pointless individuals. Using half a liter of regular salt, take a salt bath in the ocean or your own bathroom. Don't blame others for your problems. Instead, help someone else who is having a hard time get out of it. You will also get out of it. Plan new things, worry, and be afraid. Then ask yourself, how many of the things I've worried and feared have actually happened to me? You'll only see the few people you invited. It's like a moving chair, worrying wastes energy. In the same way that a mill owner starts up all of his machines and then walks away, leaving them to damage and destruction, it keeps going forward, but never gets anywhere. If you do that habit, it will ruin your health, make you and the people around you sad, take away your value, and take away your joy. Stop doing it. Making new plans for your thoughts, work, speech, and activities, and only focusing on one day at a time. Stop fighting and refusing, stop caring about yourself, and start loving. Alter, begin, grow, or do something. When you feel like crying, laugh, feeling down, wear bright colors like pink, purple, green, and red. Don't use black, brown, or dead shades. Go for blue. Take a warm salt water bath, walk around until you get tired, and don't feel sorry for yourself. If you're feeling nervous, just turn over in bed. Make new plans every day and meet new people. If you have nervousness issues, follow my fifth lesson on building your body, eating well, sleeping at noon, and making your daily life easier.
Stay away from sick and sad people. Stop talking about your own problems. Let go. Stop stressing over small things and restrain your own wants. Spend time in the fields with the cows and sheep. Take a break from chores by planning a new adventure. Forget about yourself, helping a stupid dog cross the street, borrowing a poor child to go to the zoo, or picking up someone who is sad. Act firmly, stay away from crowds and energy, and keep conflict and hostility under control. Focus on one happy thought at a time to make it a habit. Giving up on yourself, drinking a cup of hot water or a quart of milk with a little salt, letting go of your worries, and saying the word can help you sleep. Fall asleep slowly to the sound of a clock's pendulum moving while you sleep alone. Do not try to justify your bad habits by saying they are inherited. Get rid of it and you'll be free. Removing yourself from the thing that makes you do your bad habit will make you feel bad when you do it and happy when you can stop doing it. Replace the bad wish that you have with a good one. Instead of buying alcohol or tobacco, buy flowers, music, or a farm. Sharpen your will and hold it accountable when you slip up. Instead of talking about how hard things are or how much you hurt, talk about how great it feels to win when you feel like it. Say, I am superior to yourself ten times and break any habit you may have. This will change your stance, your work, and the people you associate with. Men are enslaved by their drinking and smoking habits. Once you resent a habit, it will no longer control you. The thing will run away from you when you have the moral strength to hate it. It could take you five days or five weeks to beat it, but you should set aside that time as a holiday and fight a battle for best manhood. Have faith in yourself and strengthen your resolve to achieve great self-mastery. Dedicate yourself to breaking your habit and be excited about it. Be determined not to carry around a stinky set of smoking tools with you. Contrary to popular belief, smoking does not improve digestion, clear the mind or calm the nerves. With drinking, it's the same thing. The great personality is ruined and defeated by habits which are deficiencies. The things we think make us like them more. Stop doing business every night and start doing it again every morning. That tiny bit of sand in your shoe, not the rock in front of you, is what wears you out. The feelings in life are endless and beautiful. Supreme expressions. Get life, health, power, knowledge, ability to express yourself and love and men will praise your Father in heaven when they see the good things you do. Lesson 8 Magnetism's amazing power, our black and white button. Carefully studying the colors that affect you the most will help you make your own attractive monochrome. Individuals will have different body traits. Crimson, red, dark blue, dark green, bright yellow, violet, and purple are the main colors that heal. Brilliant red, light blue, pale green, pink, and lavender are the main colors that inspire people. You can make your monochrome of almost endless effects from them. Picking and using only the colors that give off the most intense brightness is smart and best. Attach your sensitive and receptive colors to each other to make your magnetic grayscale. This universe's strongest form of power is magnetism. It doesn't experience any opposition, goes through everything and fills every place. It's the universe's most sacred power. Modern life is a magnetic paradox. It both causes and benefits magnetism in very different ways. This energy comes from the brain and moves rightward through the body in the shape of a figure eight. From the brain to the solar plexus on the left, then down to the organs, procreates, and then back up to the brain through the right side and the solar plexus. The solar plexus is the body's main nervous system. Personal magnetism, or your innate ability to attract magnets, is still growing all the time. The solar plexus is the main sensitive center of the nervous system. Focus on keeping it busy and excited to boost your magnetic forces. 
intense feelings, sensations, and expressions come from the solar plexus. Thoughts turn brain forces into magnetism, and nerves carry electromagnetic signals. Intense colors make the waves stronger. When the wet palm of the hand is put on an injured area, the brain instantly sends healing magnetic currents down the arm to the area that needs help. Focus on the color of the black and white image. The present will be finished. You can greatly strengthen the mending thoughts over time, which will increase the flow of magnets. Deep, regular breathing is important while you or someone else is getting the treatment. Laying down is the best way to keep your body relaxed during the process. Looking at the color is also important. If you're treating someone else, have them look at the same color. Concerning mental illnesses like panic, sadness, pain, fear and depression, choose the monotone color that makes you feel the best. Light green, yellow, pink or one of the blues can be it. You will quickly learn which one calms you down the most. If you only use one color at a time, you will eventually be able to picture the color you want without even using real color in the black and white photograph. Apply pressure with both hands if you can on cuts, swollen areas, inflammations or local pains. The thought process that will awaken the magnetic currents starts with keeping the palms of your hands wet. Consider the hurt area too. Imagine that the pain is now going away. Imagine that the heart palpitation is strong and calm. Praises to the heart for being so strong and enduring over the years. The heart of an ox or elk is strong and full, and you should think about how strong your heart is and how it's like that. You will clearly see a difference. Wherever uniform colors make you feel the best, use them. Colors like red, pink and blue should work. Some heart problems are actually stomach issues. Read what you're eating and keep your gut clean. Curing eye and ear problems. Put your hands over your eyes and rest your palms firmly on them without pressing on them. For extra relief, put one palm over the eye and the other at the base of the brain. Purple, violet, blue and green are the neutral colors that have the strongest magnetic reaction. Apply the same technique to the ears. Place the palm of your hand on each side of the neck. Additionally, you can massage the throat with one hand or both fingers. Using both hands at the same time isn't necessary, but it will help you get stronger if you do. Treating the solar plexus means putting both hands on the pit of the stomach and lightly but tightly binding it every day. Ruby, dark blue, violet and purple are good colors to use. Happyful thoughts can relax your solar plexus and give your withered and neglected body new life force. Invalidism is just a weakened solar plexus. Laughter can awaken it, so work at it until you're sweating buckets. Renew the life in your solar plexus by walking and doing other routines in the same way. This will make you look and feel young again. As I already said, the solar plexus is the strongest magnetic point. Take care of it, put it in the sun, place your palms flat on your kidneys and use the colors listed above. Utilize the same colors on the stomach and liver, taking care of the lungs as well. Depending on the length of the treatment, anything from two minutes to hours, the calming effect can put you to sleep. Advice on how to put your hands on your temples to help with a tension headache. Achieving the result will be easier the more attraction you have. Incite evil and it will happen. Poverty is felt in the pocket. Like rumors, kisses spread from one person to another. Gum chewing is pointless, just like worrying. Constantly checking the calendar and clock gives you the creepy feeling of getting old. Not interacting with useless individuals is not recommended. Shearing with an electric tool doesn't give you hair. The mums of America will soon strengthen the foundations of this republic. Men who are running with a hat box may be trying to get home his wife's hat before switching styles. Stay out of the dark and dress young. I love the sun, the fresh air, the world and all the people who live in it. Have compassion for others. 
Let the howlers, grumblers, frowners, and gigas scowl in unison. Keep your cool and fight bravely. I know you will win. The writer, Henry Millitz. Ninth lesson, the most important telepathy rule. Life is spirit, and each person's spirit is the Lord's light. Knowing the power of spirit is the same as thinking and acting in line with your highest nature. Spirituality is what life is all about. It's how you understand, feel, see, know, and live. His helping spirits go to and from different places on earth, doing what he wants. While we are attracting things, they can't stay with us once we let them go. We are all one because of the spirit. Many spiritual forces are ready to do what you want because you are enthroned. When you call them to you, the universe's windows open and spiritual power pours in. It's everywhere. Its glory fills the earth. It shines in the soft moonlight, the beautiful stars and the sunsets. It's waiting to meet your needs and fulfill your wishes, to comfort you, heal you and give you strength. You are of the highest divine spirit. According to the highest rule, telepathy, one soul can reach and help another soul. Its spirit materialized as thought waves, spiritualized attraction. Astral forms create a mysterious wonder, inspires visions, dreams and premonitions, and connects all minds through the energy of thought waves for the children of light. Simply sit back and relax in order to use the law. Use your imagination to create a clear picture of the person you want to reach. Then start to send out wave thoughts by saying or repeating the message of your code quite loudly. Don't attempt this when you are worn out, excited or tired. Carefully consider the message and how you want it to reach the person you want to assist. Teachers should have their students practice sending and getting psychic messages and effects every day. Never think that the person you are talking to's will, state, or personality will slow you down, stop you, or ruin your job. Command everything with your mind and put all of your strong willpower into your thought waves. The magnetic ethers will carry your messages. There will probably be a clear reaction that comes at the same time as a wave, or it may come later, after you're done with your work. Also, the student should remember that he can and should come up with his own ideas and generate new, unique codes. The code's job is to maintain focus and make the wave action more unified. Beware of hate, revenge and selfish goals. You will definitely meet this destroying angel again. Healer's telepathic code. I bring you health. You are in charge of all your body's problems. You will not suffer. Pain will leave you. Power is yours. In you, the perfect good is present, and you will not die. I see you clearly. You are free and honored. Go where you want to go by getting up and walking. Your body's organs and functions are all in good health. You are a busy, happy, and strong part of the whole great life, in my opinion. Psychic code to help you. Nothing bad will happen to you. You're safe and fear won't affect you because you're stronger than all risks. Wisdom will be a lamp for your feet, and courage will educate you. We will be with you in faith and hope. You will not be fooled. You will ultimately win. Whatever you're looking for will be shown to you, and your heart's wish will come true. Do not worry. You will definitely reach your objectives and serve your purpose. Psychic Code for Success you are the most powerful person in the world, and everything is dependent on you. This is your life, money, things, friends, status, and happiness. You will see open doors, pathways, chances, and bright options. You have an abundance. You will be given the power to meet your wants, and your worries will be gone, setting you free. Imagine a bright future where plenty of good things are abundantly available to you. Friendly telepathic message. There are no barriers between us. If you want to talk to me, my mind and soul are open. Our relationship will never be bad again. Goodness's springs will be open to us. 
No changes were made to the original sentence as it is already well written and has no mistakes. Our love is perfect and we won't slip up. And you know what's going through my mind because you can hear the voice of my love for you. Everything is beautiful, all vows are true and there is no evil between us. We can't be separated by space or anything else. Your mind chatters with mine, your heart with mine and your soul with mine. You can count on me to be there for you when you're tempted and to encourage you when you're feeling down. We can see clearly day or night. There will be fulfillment of our heart's longings and soul's hunger, as well as the realization of our future hopes and the fulfillment of our fates. Two shining examples of perfect life are yours and mine. Utilize thought waves to build the world. Inactivity is a bad curse in this world. Many people watch without doing anything while others work too hard. Take action instead of just looking. Avoid criticizing others and instead move things forward. Indulgence is a sin and the punishment for sin is death. That's why people who stop working die quickly. For men, not working means they won't eat because they can't eat for long. When he stops doing business, working or participating in active aggression, he loses his food, his stomach gets messed up and he has a heart attack. He demands to purchase his gravesite right away. Rich people talk nonsense. Seriously, you'd be 100 times more stupidly useless and mean if you were rich. That which you need is punch. You no longer have the grit, guts and style you used to have, even though you're 90 years old. It is possible to get them back. Thought waves can build the world, but how do you listen? Start with the world you know. Which one is it? The classroom or the kitchen? The gully or the mayor's chair? When working as a train manager or in the field? Will it be a bench or a sawmill? An aisle or a pulpit? Do you want a loom or a big music house? Pickaxe or feather? Are you ready to see what your world looks like now? Create a plan. You are excellent. Additionally, this is your last hour. You're protected by the freedom law. Proceed to yours without any outside limits, forms, orders, or rules. God's power in the world is unified in you. Freedom's law says that you will only be judged by what is best for you and others. Keep this unique code with you while you work. Personal code. I'm strength, life, and energy. Feeling brave, strong, free, successful, and healthy. I can see my faith clearly and brightly. I will be led, instructed, and successful. Using that personal code for 10 minutes every day will double your productivity in six months. Do what you said. Go harder every day. Show off your skills, your knowledge, your bravery, and your boldness. Generate energy, just like a dynamo generates electricity. Generate powerful mental and physical energy. Fill thought waves with your desires and send them out into the world. They will come back to you richly charged. Create thought waves with your smiles, heartbeats and good wishes and send them out to help others, support them, give them hope and get them through hard times. They'll be charged 30 times, 60 times or 100 times when they come back to you. Helping others brings happiness. Laws and facts support the work that the student does so he must have faith in it. Someday, the law will be completely clear and apply to every part of life. An example of this is the wireless telegraph. Recently, a young woman in Elizabeth, New Jersey, was woken up by mind waves after seven days of medical attempts to wake her up had failed. An acquaintance of the author was warned to stay safe by his mother's thoughts of waves. It impressed him so much that he missed his train at Ashtabula on his way westward one day. Although his wife was working miles away, she sent him thought waves that he was in danger. He was in a hurry and got home to find that his house was on fire. After being engaged to a young man, a girl felt his thought waves and decided not to join a sailing group on the way back. As a result of the fire on the pleasure boat, six people died. 
The most interesting examples of how telepathy or mind waves have helped people could fill a whole book, but let the student start and experience the magic of this mysterious power. Don't squeal, help others, and die for your friends. Squealers go to the seventh circle of hell, starting with the last word. Get off the ground and row. Where you are at sea, darkness will surround you like a pavilion. It's your supreme hour, and the angels of light are with you. Set sail, and realize that you are supreme, infinite, immortal, and then divine. Celebrate your uniqueness with honor. Now that we are God's children, our lives have no limits, and our powers are limitless. Close your eyes to the body, your ears to the world, your heart to fear, and your soul to hate. Keep running until you get the trophy. Continue your search for the Holy Grail until the Ministry of True Love says that the cup you're holding shines and sparkles in the crimson and sapphire glory of your quest. Let go of your doubtful cocoon and the highest wings of spirit will carry you to victory. Satan is the only thing that makes God's universe dark. The heavens are full of opportunities that are calling you to their beaming areas of power and help. Infuse your soul with passion, take control of your fate, accept the universe and shine your energy on problems and they will melt away. Stop insulting God by calling yourself a worm of the dust, a miserable sinner and someone with no good qualities. Take your place in the sun. No problem can't be solved. You manage everything in the world. Thought has no limits. The mind is superhuman. Attach your spirit to the sun's rays and grab hold of the stars, and they will become your chariots. You are connected to God's world. Today and this magical moment will last forever. If you look up at the visions that shine through the purple clouds of beauty, the unparalleled forms of beauty, you will see things that you haven't seen before. By listening to the voices that break through the velvety lips of silence, you can hear things that you can't hear. If you extend your mighty hand to all dominions, principalities and powers, you will be able to do anything. You can make time go by faster by utilizing the current situation. There was a time when women weren't as pretty, or dressed as nicely, or wore so little. If you're unhappy, don't blame anyone. Every law, force and influence in the universe is working for your good. Employ them. Be positive. You're fine even if you look bald. For example, Samson killed the most people after he lost his hair. A bald head is like paradise. There is no separation there. Your teeth may be crooked and your hair may be thin, but an old fiddle has many good tunes. Pessimists see the whole, while optimists see the doughnut. That negative person inquires, is there milk in that jug? Please pass me the cream, asks the overly optimistic person. Pessimists set their 80-day clocks every night, while optimists give away their watches so they don't have to waste time doing that. Negative people won't eat anything that makes them feel good, while positive people can eat cottage cheese pudding and feel like they're in a brownstone palace on Riverside Drive. Thank God we have men. Moments like these need people with strong minds, big hearts, real faith, and hands that are ready to help. Office lust won't kill or corrupt these men. They have opinions and will. They are honorable. They won't lie and they can stand up to a demagogue and call out his dishonest flattery without blinking an eye. Heavier men with crowns of sunshine who live above the fog, doing their jobs and thinking in private. Since 1980, Josiah Gilbert Holland, who wrote these lessons, has studied psychotherapy, mental suggestion, and the laws of personal power. He has given many lectures across the United States during that time and has helped tens of thousands of men and women get better from mental, physical and personal problems through direct and indirect advice. He gets them back to working condition. Talk to your friends about sending these lessons directly to the author with 25 cents in cash if they can't get them from their bookseller. In this world of millions of people, only you can make yourself unhappy. My new way of mental induction, 
which includes personalized instructions and advice, builds up four psychic forces. Allow me to assist you in resolving your present tough personal issues. Assaulting situations, mental confusion, and tangled problems can all be freed from you with my help. I will show you new ways, make new conditions, broaden your view, and gain positive mastery. You gifts, talents, and abilities will open up a world of new realities, rich opportunities, and brilliant possibilities. It's possible and advisable to be successful, happy, peaceful, and loving. Your intuition, drive, and ability to attract others are all dynamic energy sources. It does not matter how old you are, you can start over. Simply and clearly, make your case. Additionally, I will answer five questions about personal matters that you may want more information, advice, or direction on. That trust is unbreakable. To make your wishes come true, I work for you and with you every day using my new mental induction technique. Payment in advance is required and I'll return your money if I can't help you. Clearly write your name and address. The Dr. Croft in New Haven. Nobody on earth can stop you from getting up if you don't have power. Keep a positive attitude, young man, because one day you might marry your boss's daughter and become a millionaire. If that happens, you won't be able to smile. As he took a deep breath in, the alarm clock made him laugh even more. An old man once saw a fat white grub eating his cucumber vines. Rather than cursing it, he took it out to sea and used it to catch a tarpon. He and his nine children ate for a whole day.